Hi, I'm Chelsea with Mike Bell Chevrolet, and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness, where we believe that every car has a story. Whether your car is a ground pounding, tire smoking street machine, or a trophy winning classic with blinding chrome and paint, Hot Rod Madness wants to hear your story. Who knows? Maybe your story will inspire future generations to dream, build, and own their own classic rides. Here to bring you those stories is the host of Hot Rod Madness, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness. Let's head to Carrollton, Georgia and join the Antique Automobile Club of Americas for the West Georgia Region's 40th Annual Car Show at Mike Bell Chevrolet, where we'll see plenty of classic and custom rides. Gary, how are you, sir? I am just fine, thank All you. All right, man. Thanks for having Hot Rod Madness out at the dealership today. What a cool event you got going on here, man. We're very fortunate to have good weather. Yeah. And uh, we've uh, bested our previous uh, high mark so we're at a hundred plus cars and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. it's just a wonderful day for all of us now how many years you've been putting on this event this is the 40th year 40th 40th yes 40th year. 40 years yes okay so Mike Bell Chevrolet has been here for a long, well, long it time it hasn't always been at Mike Bell but okay. for the last at, at least the last 10 years it's been here gotcha and the name of the club is uh, it's the West Georgia region of the uh, um, antique automobile club of America okay. Gotcha. Wow. That's all right, man. Yeah. At right here in Carrollton, Georgia, the same time this year, you do, you do have the show the same time every same year, time right? Every year, okay. yes, yes. Uh, we had used to uh, do it at uh, first of May, mm -hmm. but uh, it always seemed to interfere with either local events okay. or so we've moved it back here to the second week of June, and gotcha. that's worked well for us for the last uh, three years. Okay. Yeah, it does work well, man. You you got a nice turnout. Yeah. Yeah, lots well, of wonderful people come out with these cars, man. It, it's amazing. Uh, you, uh, you'd be surprised what's in the garages around here. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even you got a nice one, man. Well, yeah, well, that's one of one of several. But, uh, one of several. Yeah. All right, Gary. What else you got packed in the garage? Uh, I got a '65 Corvair convertible. Okay. And a 1927 uh, Model T Ford. All right. Uh, three American Austins. If that, those are the little bitty uh, cars that used, yes, to, used to call them clown cars. Okay, you know? yes, sir. And uh, I have a 47 Crosley. Oh, nice, and, okay. Um, now, what what is the Crosley? Is it like a pickup or the... the Crosley is a, is a coupe, it's a two-door. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, very, it's a small car. Yeah. I like the small cars because I get more in the... Sure. More in the garage. Oh, you know? yeah. And, and this one, what, what is that? What year is this? This is one? 1928. It's the original. 28. Uh, it's the original Model A, the, the first year of production. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right. It, they, they built Model A's from uh, 1928 through 1931. Yes, sir. And, uh, and yeah. it, there were changes all along the way, but uh, this is one of the first. And uh, it looks like you kept this one mostly original. Uh, it is original, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. Uh, All right. original... Uh, well, every everything's original. A few accessories, but uh, yeah. that's about it. Uh, about, now, what do you use these for, man? Oh, no, they just, well, they actually, in the nighttime, when you have your headlights on, you can see that yeah. your headlights are on. Oh, gotcha. That's a headlight <laughs> indicator. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, kind of an yeah. er, early version, yes. Yeah. Uh, How hard is it to pop the hood and look at the engine? Not a, not, no problem. All right. Pull a couple of levers. Pop one side. Let's see how clean it is, Gary. Oh yeah, nice man. Yeah, yep. yeah. you. Uh, the only uh, that the only change that you can see there is that that's a yep. modern alternator in right. place of the original generator. Okay, works yeah. a lot better though, don't it? It does. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, we had a man here in town, uh, Johnson's, uh, that uh, he would rebuild a. Uh, uh, that to six volts so that okay. uh, I can keep the original ignition system and all the lights and everything are still yes, sir. the original six, six volts. volts. Gotcha. So we, right. he, was, he built that uh, for us uh, mm -hmm. and several of the other members of the club. All right. How clean is the interior, man? Always fun to look inside, uh, look inside the people's cars, man. Yeah. Look at this. Now you notice yeah, that yeah. the red red pedals and the red steering wheel were original to the car. That's okay. uh, the first series of Model A's 
had the red wheel and the red pedals. Oh boy. And from then on it was black. Yeah, and your, your stuff here is in really good shape. This is called a special coupe. Mm -hmm. uh, the, re the, the thing that makes it different is it has the leather look on the back uh, that wraps around the rear window. Oh, okay. Uh, the other Model A's would have a, uh, just the top would mm -hmm. be the leather look. Cool. Uh, so they got uh, some type of, is it, it's not really vinyl, is it, or is well, it? Well, it's what called Long Grain Cobra, but that's what they called it back in the 1920s. Okay. So, yeah, it's, All uh, right. It's just a pattern, uh, but it is not. It's a. It's it's an imitation leather. It's, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Even then, that was nice, imitation man. leather. So. All right. Well, Gary, maybe we'll catch up to you later on and okay. check out that Crosley you got stashed away. All right, well, sir. We'll bring her out in in, in next year, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I've All got right. uh, you know. It's I kind of rotate them around. So, yeah. yeah. All right. But well, I, once again, thanks for having Hot Rod Madness out today. My name is Richard Wernick. I'm the sales manager of Streetside Classics in Atlanta. We are the nation's top consignment dealer in the nation with locations here in Atlanta, Nashville, Tennessee, Dallas, Texas, Tampa, Florida, and Phoenix, Arizona. We sell about 1,400 cars a year, and at Streetside Classics, you always consign for free. Come on down and sell your car. Streetsideclassics.com. www.streetsideclassics.com. How you doing, sir? All right. All right, man. What's your name? Dan Worthy. Hey, Dan. Beautiful red 55, man. Thank you, sir. You know, in the sunlight like this, man, that red just pops. It look. does. That's some shiny red paint. So is that like Porsche red? What is it? Viper red. Viper red. It's pretty bright. It is. Beautiful ride, man. And you stuffed some Corvette stuff into this one, right? Right. That motor is a Z06 oh. engine out of, it's LS6. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of power. That's correct. Gets good gas mileage. Okay. Until you put your foot in it, right? All right. Now, uh, have you put your foot in it lately? I have. Yeah. Uh -huh. About every time <laughs> I drive it. About every time. I mean, <clears throat> why not? I mean, you, right. you got all the power there. I mean, it's probably heavier than a Corvette, but I'd imagine that power plant still totes his 55 quite well. I had a new Corvette, Did sold you? it about a year ago, and this one here run just as good as the new one. Oh, okay. Nice, man. Wow, all the chrome, everything's beautiful on this. Thank you, you. You put the car together yourself? I did a lot of it, and I mm -hmm. had a friend of mine uh, painted it, mm -hmm. and then uh, he put some of it together, and I did. Okay. I also uh, did the, some of the metal fabrication to put the LS engine in there, mm -hmm. welded up all the seams on the firewall, okay. changed the battery box. Originally, it was on the firewall, moved it up here on the core support, yep. which that's an aftermarket core support. Okay. Did you use the original 55 frame? Yes. Okay. I'll just cut and altered it so that I could run the uh, accessories such as the alternator and air conditioning mm. down low. Okay. Yeah. Tuck it in, get it out of the way. And originally mm. the motor mounts was right there on the frame and uh, mm -hmm. they were obsolete after I changed that new engine so I did away with that section of the frame just put in flat metal. Yeah. And this in here is a rag top. That's correct. Nice man. Yeah. You let, you let the top down. And I did a couple weeks yeah. ago at the Tri-5 Chevy show in Pigeon mm -hmm. Forge. Okay. Yeah, how was that turnout up there, man? Was it that was good? good? That was a good one, wasn't it? I, I, ah. I think I was 139. Yeah. Okay. And there was a few more than that there. Yeah. Wow. Always, always a good show up there. Wow. Beautiful, man. Let's check out the interior. Now, is this uh, red interior on top of red? I mean, you got a bunch of red going on here. That's right. Yeah. Who, yeah. who did the interior for Interiors you? Interiors by Shannon. He is uh, Shannon Walter from Alexander City, Alabama. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The seats or front seats are from a Lexus, and he removed the headrest, but the power and all that still works. There's still power. Oh, yeah, the console and the rear seats yeah. are crafted from uh, plywood. Okay. And then he covers all of it in leather. Yeah, love how the console carries on through the interior like that. All the radio and all is in a hidden compartment. I left it open where everybody could see it. Yeah, that's nice. It keeps it off the dash. And then he put that panel under the dash to where we put the air conditioning controls in there, and then the air conditioning con uh, vents are in the mm -hmm. console, and put factory 57 vents in the uh, each side of the dash. Yeah, wow. And I cut the holes out for that and put all those in. Golly, how many years in the making here? I bought the car in 2007, and I've been showing it now for three years, so mm -hmm. I've had it done about three years, a little over three years. Enjoying it. I have been. Oh, yeah.
Are you ready? Crab Hoop Productions and Gulfport Dragway host Hazardous Waste 2017. Friday, September 29th and Saturday, September 30th. Hazardous Waste features rat rides, lead sleds, customs, and hot rods. Guaranteed something for the entire family. Camping is available on site at Gulfport Dragway, one mile south of I-10 and exit 31 in Gulfport, Mississippi. Eugene, how are you, man? Hey, how you right. doing? Yes, yeah. Dude, dude, I seen you rolling up in something quite different here today. How do you pronounce the name of this car? Yeah, it's uh, you pronounce it Moskvich. Moskvich. Uh, yeah, model number is 412. Yeah. Yeah, this this one actually the only one in the U.S. Yeah, that you okay. can see. And, Russian, uh, correct? Yeah, 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 it's been made in Soviet Union. Wow. Okay. Uh, so model number is uh, uh, 1973. And um, what can I say about it? You know. Well, it looks like the paint uh, on its factory. It looks yeah, like the engine it's, is. It's is everything. From everything is original, yes. like uh, original engine and transmission and everything you can see. Yeah. Except the paint has been recently repainted, but. Uh, okay. Um, I mean, I don't know what else you want to know about this. Oh well, uh, there's but, plenty to know about it, man. How big is that motor? Uh, it's 1.5. 1.5 yeah, liter. Four cylinder. Okay. Yeah, carburetor, of course. Yeah, okay. Um, in 73, they were doing carbureted cars in Russia as well. Of course, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, Very well, interesting. Yeah, man. It's, it's, right hand drive, uh, you know, like like we do in here, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, the okay. cool things about it, if you would, uh, I mean, that's everything in school in my, in my imagination, but uh, like for one thing I would show you. If you'll step inside. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, All right, he's got. Yeah, dashboard is still. I mean, everything is original also in here. Dashboard made out of plastic. In the, I mean, not a plastic, but metal. Mm -hmm. And the radio, they have like a five bands radio. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can. Uh, you can even catch the. Uh, Russian radio station sometimes, oh, or cool. Cuba or whatever. Okay. Even from here. Even from here. <laughs> even from here. And uh, another thing is. Yeah, that's interesting. Even back in 1973, they make the thing that I can plug it in. Yeah. To my MP3 uh, player really? or like my iPhone, and still gonna work. Oh no kidding. I don't even have in my in my new BMW things like that. Yeah. Okay. Interesting, you know, man. Yeah, this is not the only yeah. car you have from that time period, is yeah, it? Yeah, I do have a, a Volga, okay. Gas 21. Yes, sir. It's a 1963. Okay. Yeah, sometime I'm, I, am I gonna bring it next time, I guess. All right. And yeah, a lot of cool. people would ask about this thing. They mm -hmm. think it's like some kind of heating and cooling system that like air blows in it or okay. something. But what it really is, it's your speaker in here. Okay. You know, when you turn the radio on, yes, sir. That's that's where you hear your, your music from. Wow, this is the original colors yeah. for this car, yeah, isn't it's it? It's original color, yeah. All right, but it has yeah. been repainted. Yeah, recently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, of course, you know, um, mm -hmm. in 44 years, you know, paint it was kind of dull and stuff, yeah. you know, and I can save the original paint, so. Man, I, I find it real interesting in yeah, the color choice. They got even, this even mint green type, type paint with red interior. Mm -hmm. Totally different, yeah, man. Even the interior is original. Yeah. Okay. They haven't been resolving already. Now, let me ask you this, man. You uh, you got this. How long have you had this thing? Uh, For about a year. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you have to get it shipped from Russia over here? Uh, Shipped it from Ukraine, yeah. Okay. All right. I bet there was some fees involved with getting that thing here. Well, it's not much, you know, you only pay custom fee as a 3% of the okay. price that you bought it from. All right, all right. And uh, so, I have to just uh, get get through a few processes to get registered, you know. Yeah. Of course, you can see it's registered. Yes, sir. Yeah. So this thing rode mm. on a ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put it in a container? Mm -hmm. uh, not this one. Okay. Yeah, I, I put like on a dock, you know, like, uh, right. it's like a big car hauler. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I'm not familiar, uh, man. I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Yeah, and let me show another thing. Okay. Let's check it out, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it kind of resembles the old Datsuns, but, you know, from the 70s, but it is different. Like in the modern days, you know, if you want to open the trunk, all you mm -hmm. have to 
Okay, this, this little thing. Okay, you got a trunk release yeah, there on the side. Release. Yes, sir. Yeah, we need to open a trunk. Yep. There's your gas tank right here. Yep, behind the right, tag. Behind, okay. behind the tag. Yes, sir. Like in the old days, yep. you know, so you don't have to worry about getting to the right side of the gas yeah. station. You know, you can get to the either one. Okay. It, it kind of reminds me of an old Datsun back in the 70s, you know, stuff I used to ride uh, high school in, but uh, mm -hmm. it is very different. You finally have that truck of your dreams. You wanted a wood bed floor, but after time, it looks like this. For about the same money, but less effort, you can have an aluminum bed floor system from SmokyRoadRotShop.com. Almost unlimited designs to choose from, and it lasts the lifetime of your truck. Get the whole story at www.SmokyRoadRotShop.com. That's SmokyRoadRotShop.com. Hey, now here's a classic old Thunderbird. Hey, what year's your Thunderbird? It's in 1965. All right. What's your name, lady? My name is Danette Adams. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm Tim the Milkman. Nice dot com. To meet you, Mr. Milkman. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're out here getting the specs on some of the rides today and make a new episode of Hot Rod Madness. Thought I'd walk over and see the pretty red Thunderbird. Oh, well, thank you. A 65 Thunderbird. Is that uh, pretty much all original, isn't it? Everything's original. Mm -hmm. All electric. Okay. Inside, everything's electric. Power yeah. windows. Okay. Yes. So, original power plant? How big yeah. is that? Uh, 390, 390 is it? Is that what they put in them? Yes. Yeah, okay. It does look all original. It is. Man, that, that's, it's always nice to let the top back and go cruising around on a nice, beautiful day, right? Always. Oh, yeah. Sunday cruising. The ladies love their Thunderbirds just like the guys do, right? We do. Yep. We do with that. Classic car owners. Hey, let's check out the interior. Okay. Yeah. I always love the uh, the styling on these things, the styling of the rounded, the rounded rear seats. Yeah. Nice Remind interior. You of, like movie stars. Oh sure, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you Even ever? The steering wheel still moves over. When you oh yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, okay. when you, when you want that wheel to move over out of your way, it mm -hmm. makes for a nice clear exit and entrance and all it that does. stuff. It does. Yeah, that's one of them cool nice, options nice that little Ford feature. did. Nice feature. Yes. yes. Yeah, I it like a... Nice man. The interior looks great in this thing. She's held up. Oh, yeah. She's held up really well. Somebody took very good care of it. Yeah. Why not, you know? Yeah, why not? What a cruiser. Thank hey, you. Hey, you ever go to the Boulevard Cruises and sit up here and let the old man do the driving <laughs> and you sit up here and wave to the crowd? I'll leave that to my yeah, granddaughter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I probably would. <laughs> anyway. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of Hot Rod Madness. We invite you to get the madness by checking out our Hot Rod Madness website at timthemilkman.com or email us with questions or ideas at randomrides53 at gmail.com. From all the crew, thanks for watching Hot Rod Madness.